Youth Express. It's all about youth expressing their views on all matters lit. That is, issues that matter to us. So in terms of education, it has caused us to move to online schooling. I think savings is important for when you go to college and you need enough money for your education. Youth Express! Exploring issues that affect the young people of our region. Youth Express! Welcome to Youth Express, a production of ECTB Connects, where youth from ECTB member countries express themselves and share their thoughts on ideas and issues that matter to them. We're happy that you've joined us for our very first program, and today we'll speak with five young people from our member countries about the topic of the day, coronavirus. They'll share how they've been coping with the pandemic right after the break. Wash your hands as you sing along with Pepper. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. You need to wash our hands. That's right. <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Remember to wash your hands for at least 40 seconds. Welcome back to Youth Express. I'm Karina phillips Samasu, and I'm joined by my co-host, Shanna Daniel, who is the newest member of the ECCB Connects production team. Welcome, Shanna. Thank you very much, Karina. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm from the beautiful ECCU member country, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and I'm happy to join the ECCB Connect family. Shanna, we are happy to have you aboard. We are joined today by five young people from our ECCB member countries, and they are ready to share with us how they've been coping with the coronavirus pandemic. Shanna, tell us who we have with us today. Now, when I call your name, you can just smile and give a little wave so that we can know who you are, okay? We have Ethan Harrington. Ethan is joining us from Anguilla. Hi, Ethan, welcome. Thank you, hello. We have Aya Smith. And Aya is also joining us from Anguilla. Hi, Aya. Hello. Celine Jane. Celine is joining us from Grenada. Hi, Celine. Hi. Brendan Chambers is joining us from Monstra. Hi, Brendan. Hi. Welcome. And finally, we have Sudu Ogi. And she's joining us from St. Lucia. Hello, thank you. It's so nice to have you guys. And like we said, we are happy you've joined us, that you've taken time out. It might be a little break from school and your classes. So I'm hoping you're happy to be here. Are you happy to be with us? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So we're going to have a little chat, like I said, about coronavirus. I'm sure you've heard a lot about it. It's been all over the news. Mommy and Daddy talk about it. But what comes to your mind when you hear the coronavirus? When I hear about the coronavirus, I think of it as, a, is, as a deadly disease. A deadly disease. It just feels very hurtful to see them die. So it's you, you think about people being hurt by it? Yes. Okay. It's very easy to spread around the world and it can cause a lot of harm to people it can cause a lot of and and how easily it's spread throughout the world very good i see i think that the when i hear about the covid19 pandemic i think that is that it is an, an, an unprecedented event that we were not ready for the world was not ready for it unprecedented um, yes. Very good word. Yes. So, so tell us more. What do you mean by unprecedented? That we we never seen it before. We were not prepared for it. We we were caught off guard. The world was caught off guard, and it has just brought a lot of pain and hurt to the the our our country and the world. Definitely, some big views there on coronavirus. Thank you, Tudu. 
Well, when I first heard of COVID-19, there was a lot of jokes going around about it because it was just in China, mainly in Asia. But as soon as it spread to um, America, it started to spread more. It went to Spain. It went all around Europe. It went to um, South America. And a lot of people died. At least 69,000 people died in the U.S., and almost a million people died worldwide. So I just thought it was a really hectic disease that we were that was we were unprepared for. Excellent. I see. I see. All of you are quite caught up and informed about what's happening around the world um, with coronavirus. I you gave us some excellent information about you know how it's spread and how many people have been affected by it. And it's a lot to process and it may make us feel sad, but, you know, we just have to do our best, all of us, where we are to, to stay safe. Well, Karina, I am so impressed. These children are well informed about the yeah, coronavirus. Quite yeah. informed. <laughs> so, <laughs> children, we know that coronavirus has affected us all in almost everything that we do. And you especially, how do you do school work now? How do you play with friends? How do you interact with other family members, maybe those who are not living in your household? To do, how yes, has coronavirus affected your life? The, COVID, the coronavirus has impacted my life in a very positive and negative way. I get to spend more time with my family that is playing board games, such as Monopoly, Scrabble, and much more. We are also able to do much more together as a family. We have recently started our vegetable kitchen garden as, as of the COVID-19 pandemic, where we have planted many fruits and vegetables in, in anticipation of expected food shortages and an increase in food prices. But although it has as many positive impacts, it also has negative impacts. First of all, many people have lost their lives. Many families have suffered these losses. And I would like to give my condolences to families who have experienced these types of events. Wow. Indeed, as you said, there are both positive and negative. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I'm sad and happy. The good news is that I get to spend more time with my family. And then the sad news is that I can get to see my friends in person and play with them. Good and bad. In terms of my schoolwork, I, I got it from Google Classroom. And when I hope, I just, I have a game called a PS4 and you could buy something to talk with and I could talk to my friends after the game. And wait, I, I, me and my, Mom, we, 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 we did a garden and we planted corn, dashing, carrots, watermelon. That's, uh, that's most of that I can remember. <laughs> okay, so so far we have two farmers coming out of St. Lucia and Montserrat because of this coronavirus. So are you planning to export some of those things that you planted so that I can get some? I would be happy to get some as well. <laughs> <laughs> to do you? Sure, it's very much possible. <laughs> In terms of education, it has caused us to move to online schooling on the Edmodo platform. And it makes us unable to do some subjects which are hands-on such as art, design, technology, and home economics. And I get to interact with my friends through WhatsApp and other communication platforms. And I'm able to play games and have fun with them on a PS4, like Brandon said. It has also helped me to bond with my family and my pets, seeing that we're all inside and we're all working on our different tasks. Okay, so first, before we went on break, we had a break the week before. So it was like an extra break. 
So then we end up having two weeks of break. And I started to realize, like, usually when I'm in school, I want to not go to school. I want to stay home. But now I feel like I don't want to stay home anymore. I've just been trapped in the house. I've been trapped with my birds. I've been trapped with my little cousin. And she's only five, so she drives me crazy. For my friends, for communication, we always host, like, a big... um. FaceTime call and we always chat to each other and play games that just came out. And everyone is just ready to get back to normal and we hope that it will be very soon. So those of you who are trapped, you will be released. While you are at home, we encourage you to continue to be safe, to find um, creative things to do, start your gardens like to do and who, who Brandon, yes. Or, you know, come up with something creative to do until we can get back to normal, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much. I mean, I'm quite impressed, and I speak for Shana, I'm sure, with how much you know about what's going on and how well you've been able to express yourself and share with us all that you're thinking about, you know, how you feel and what you want to see happening um, as we work to this new normal as everybody. Thank you again for chatting with us. Bye. Stay safe. Bye. 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 You've been watching Youth Express, a production of East TCP Connects, where youth from East TCP member countries share their thoughts and express themselves about ideas and issues that matter to them. Look out for episode two, where we'll speak with more of our youth about how they have been dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. We extend special thanks to our guests and their parents and our ECCB country managers for making today's recording possible. Thanks for watching and remember to stay safe. Youth Express! It's all about youth expressing their views on all matters lit. That is, issues that matter to us. In terms of education, it has caused us to move to online schooling. I think savings is important for when you go to college and you need enough money for your education. Youth Express! Exploring issues that affect the young people of our region. Youth Express!